Volodymyr Zelensky appoints a new spy chief after discovering Russian agents had infiltrated the government. Ukraine's president has appointed an experienced security official as acting head of the domestic security agency after a shakeup that has renewed questions over Russian intelligence infiltration of key ministries and suggested divisions within Volodymyr Zelensky's inner circle. After recent anonymous briefings against Zelensky's childhood friend Ivan Bakunov, who had been in charge of the 30,000-strong state security service, the SBU, since 2019, over claims of failure to counter Russian infiltration, he was abruptly suspended on Sunday along with the Prosecutor General Irina Venediktova, who had been leading war crimes investigations. Bakunov, in particular, was regarded as close to Zelensky, having grown up in the same city of Krivri. He worked for Zelensky's studio Kavato 95 production company and ran the former actor's campaign headquarters during his presidential bid. At the time of his appointment, he was accused of holding a leading position in a private company registered in Spain in an apparent breach of Ukraine's anti-corruption legislation. Zelensky announced on Monday that Bakunov would be replaced by Vasim Maliuk, a former first deputy head of the SBU who led the anti-corruption and organized crime unit of the agency's central directorate. While the reason cited for the dismissals was the claim of widespread Russian collaboration in the two departments, it also appears to reflect jostling for influence around the president among key players. Zelensky, fated on the world stage as a wartime leader, had been dogged domestically before the invasion by accusations that he had appointed inexperienced outsiders, including friends, to jobs in which they were out of their depth. Zelensky recently dismissed ambassadors to five countries, including Germany, and several other envoys, including those to Hungary, Norway, and the Czech Republic, and also India. And last month, there was a public spat with the head of his armed forces. This is BBS News. Thank you for listening and see you in the next videos.